Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about Niagara and events in Unreal 4. Specifically, we're going to talk about location events in this video. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video with collision events, I'm going to be using the emitters that I created in that video for this video. So to get this started, I'm going to open up my Niagara system and I'm going to clear out some things. So in my first emitter, I'm going to get rid of generate collision events. And then on my second emitter, I'm going to get rid of receive collision events and I'm going to come up to event handler and I'm going to delete the handling properties. Now location events are another good way of getting one emitter to spawn and follow another emitter. So the way that we add them is in particle update. We want to click on the plus icon and we're going to look for location and you should look under events. It should say generate location events and we can add that. And this is kind of similar to the collision event where we can turn this on and off. And then we also have event send rate. You can see this as a way of optimizing. Now, just like collision events and emitter properties, we need to make sure that we have requires persistent ID turned on. And then this also will not work with the GPU emitter. It has to be CPU. So now we have an emitter that's generating a location event. Now we need to find a way to receive it. And the way that we do that is we come to event handler and we want to add a new handle. And now in our handler properties, we want to change the source to our emitter that we want these to spawn and follow on. I'm going to click on the drop down and you just see location event for your other emitter. I'm going to change that. And then our execution mode, we want to change this to spawned particles. Now we want to set the spawn number to something. So I'm going to change this to one. And let's go and see what we have. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to move this out of the way. And we can see that we're spawning those particles, but they're not following our other particles. So once again, we're sending an event, but our event handler only handles how we want our particles to spawn, not where. So now we need to add a receive. So I'm going to type in receive, and we want receive location event. And now let's go take a look at what we have. And now we can see that it's working. We have particles spawning and they're following our first emitter. Now, if we wanted to change the density of that, we can come to generate location event and we can set the event send rate a lot lower. So we can set this to two and this should influence our density. So now you can see that they're following, but there's a lot less of them. So you can look at the send rate and generate location events as our density. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.